Hello everyone. Welcome again. This is Vikram from Data Edge Learning. In my last video, I have shown you and given you the basic exposure on Go programming language. In today's session, I'm going to tell you how you are going to install Go programming into your system. Whatever the system you are having, how you can install the thing. Even though this official uh, documentation page link I have shared over here, uh, in the description, which will have the link download and install. If you click on this one, you will be able to get this page to be open. Based on your operating system, the download will be automatically get selected. So in my case, I'm using the Windows operating system and you can see it is uh, selected the download book for the Windows. What you have to do, you have to simply click on this one. If you click on this one, a file size of MSI, MSI type of 124 MB will get downloaded. First, you need to download it out. If you download, then what next you have to follow that I'll be telling you. So in my case, this is the file which is getting downloaded. So before proceeding further, what I'll be telling you, I'll be simply double clicking on this one MSI file so that it will get installed while we are going to talk on the other points as well. Now you can see it is the Windows installation for the Go programming language has started with the following version and here you will find the next. So you simply click on the next. By default, the license agreement will be in the tick mark. Click next and this will be the location. In C programming, program files, C drive program files go will be the folder where your Go is going to be installed. Click on the next install and it will take a few min to get it installed. Till the time I'm going to talk more about this programming language. Even though I have shown you the steps, if you forget, just follow this documentation. Uh, step number two go install for the windows you have to click on this windows otherwise for linux and mac you need to select the particular option it will guide you all the steps what it is saying open the package what i have shown you then you uh the steps i have already shown you so no need to go through this again and again okay now if it is suppose if it is getting executed means installed, how you are going to verify whether the Go programming language is installed or not. Then in that case, you need to follow this step number two. For that purpose, you need to wait for the time till the Go programming language is getting installed into your system. It is taking time, so I'm pausing the video for a few minutes till the time it is getting installed. You can see, Recording is in progress and it is about to get it completed. So we'll wait for a few more seconds. This video is basically talking about how you can download and install the Go program into your system. With, if time permits, I'll be showing you the very first example of the Go programming over here. Or meanwhile, I will tell you the one of the editor that is known as VS Code. Okay, this is the editor. You can simply Google it. You will be able to get the link. VS Code download. You will get uh, one software to be downloaded from the very first link itself. Today we have the network connectivity issue, so maybe the little bit slow in programming. Uh, to get it open. And this installation is also going on. So we need to hang on. So now you can see uh, this Go programming setup has completed and you will see here, this is the finish button. So I'm finishing this one. Now what do you need to do? how to verify so either you can get it uh open one command prompt so in my case i have already opened 
maybe this will not work because this was the last time open again i am checking this one suppose there may be chance that it can work if it is not recognizing not recognizing then what we have to do we have to open a new command prompt and what is the steps so the very first thing is that we need to type forward let's see whether it is able to get the version or not now you can see go versions is 1.17 and it is installed successfully so in my case the go is installed into my machine successfully the very next thing is that we need to make use of the steps whatever it is there to start writing the go programming language again return back to the documentation tutorial getting started page and you can see how to write some code the hello world so you can see it is suggesting open the command prompt so in case of windows what you have to do you have to go to the home path so already we are at the home path itself now it is suggesting us to create one directory with the name of hello you can see the left hand side this command i am following enter NKTIR. Hello, see, hello directory is created. We will move inside hello. Now we are inside the hello. Now, what it is saying? The step number three enable dependency tracking of your code. So, how we are going to enable this dependency tracking into your code? Okay. So, for this purpose, it is simply suggesting that we need to make use of this command let's see whether it is working or not it is saying creating new module go dot mode and module example with slash go is get created so we are good to go till this line now the very next thing is that in your text editor open a file hello dot go in which you will write your code okay so which text editor you are going to make use of that that is again your choice so i was suggesting that in your case you have to make use of this vs code editor and i have shown you the how to download this one also so this is visual studio code you can simply download it from this download button i'll be sharing you the link for that download as well in my case i think it is already installed yes so i will try to make this of this vs code and inside this vs code what we have to do we have to create one hello.go file and simply we need to write these lines this is the basic lines to start working with the go programming language hello world example okay so let it be open So we have the file open over here. What we can do, we can click into this file and I'll be clicking a new file over here. And inside this one, what I will do, I will simply copy paste this. What actually this code is, and how it is going to work that i'll be covering to the next so what you can do you can save this file and you can save hello dot go where you will save this one so if you don't have any idea and getting confused so simply go to c program files and here you find some with the hello directory or if you are not able to see this one okay then what you can do you can save anywhere there is no issue so i am saving this file over into the desktop location itself later on based on the requirement we can be able to change it out okay 
hello dot go. Now you can see my do you want to install the recommended extension for go? Yes, I will be love to enjoy the plugins because it will help a lot while writing the code. Now we can see the plugins is getting installed over here. It will be a very a small plugin. So it is already installed now. We can close this with as well. And you ignore all these things as of now. Okay, because that is not required. Now it is asking uh, this code is already uh, developed. What you can do? In this code, in this code, what it is saying, all the explanation is there. Now, how to run this code? So, first of all, we will go to open the terminal. How to open the terminal into this one? So, there is option here, new terminal. You can click on this new terminal. Okay. If you don't know how to open this one, press shift control C. Now, it's Now, uh, from your terminal, what we have to do? We have to execute this command. If it is not recognizing, it will not recognize because till now uh, we didn't link our Go programming language to this program. So, in my next video, I'll be showing you how we can interconnect this programming language to get the interpreter of the Go programming to run this one. So thank you for this one.